Hi, my name is Jonathan, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we're going to go over the Behaviors template. This template demonstrates how you can use Behavior to create an interactive lens without writing code. It comes with several examples, including how to change an image on tap, running tweens, and even calling a custom function in your own script. To get started, first open Lens Studio 3.2 and select the Behavior template. Next, let's take a look at the Objects panel which lists all the elements in your lens. Here, you can find an object called Behavior Examples. Underneath that object, you can find all the behaviors that drive the interactivity within this lens. Let's click on the first example to see how it works. With it selected, you will see that the Inspector panel shows us the list of behaviors. A behavior is a built-in script that can be added to any object like any other script which allows you to build interactivity without writing any code. So in the first script component, you can see a behavior, and in there you will see two parts which drive the interactivity, the trigger and the response. So in the case of the first example, when the lens turns on, it will run tween. Next, you will notice that the behavior is controlling the interactivity, but not the visual that you see. Instead, it references visual or other properties such as a tween name. To see the visual that the behavior is working with, right-click on the target object and choose Select. This will select the object that the tween is calling the tween on. In this object, you can see the image we're fading in, as well as the tween we're calling, which has the same name as before. In addition to individual behaviors, you can connect several of them together to create more complex interactivity. Let's take a look at the next example by clicking on it in the Objects panel. Like before, you can see a trigger and response. In this case, on tap, send custom trigger. Send custom trigger is a way to communicate between behaviors, or between behaviors and other scripts. It is a unique string that gets broadcasted globally to the entire project, and it will trigger any behavior script that is set to run with a trigger name matching the trigger broadcasted. So in this case, when you tap, it will emit the custom trigger, set image owl. In addition, since the next in list option is selected, the next time you tap, it will emit the set image kitty custom trigger. Let's take a look at the children object of this behavior to see what the custom trigger itself does. Clicking on the set image owl object, you'll notice that there are two behaviors. Both of them are triggered with the custom trigger set image owl that was listed before. And like any other behavior script, they both have their own response. In other words, when I tap, it will set the texture as well as run the tween on the logo. And the next time I tap, it will set a different texture while running the tween again. You can also use behavior to trigger interactivity in your own script. This is useful so that you can create your custom logic using JavaScript, but not have to worry about how to trigger it. Let's select the on tap swap through face objects underneath the face interaction example. Notice that there are two scripts here. One is behavior and the other is swap through objects. The swap through object script allows you to provide a list of items and the script will show one of them at a time, enabling the current item and disabling the rest. If you open that script, you'll notice that the script exposes an API called activate next item. If we look at our behavior again, you can see that on tap, behavior will go to the swap through object script and call a function named activate next item. Thus, every time you tap on the screen, your lens will swap through and activate the next item. Awesome. There's a couple more examples in this template and we recommend you try them out yourself based on what you learn here. You can learn more about each example in our template section on the Lens Studio website. Don't feel limited to the behavior examples either. Feel free to add your own behavior as well. To do this, in the objects panel, press the plus button, then type behavior. Once you're happy with your lens, try previewing it on your device so you can see what the final experience might look like. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click preview on Snapchat in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Send Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. Interactivity is a great way to make your AR experience more engaging by allowing the users to have their own unique experience. Next time you make a lens, try pressing the plus button in the Objects panel and adding behavior. If you want to learn more about behavior, as well as the other examples in this template, please refer to the Lens Studio guide page for more in-depth information. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own interactive lenses.